So I just bought something brand new here that I think is going to be interesting. And just trying to think of a decent mobile setup. And I saw this on Facebook and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this out. And what it is, is it's a case for an iPad. So it's a multi-pro expandable filmmaker case for iPads and tablets. And it's got uh, some hot shoes and stuff like that. So leave it to me not to have my blade with me. But eh, use what you have, a screwdriver. Just don't hurt yourself. So, this could be used in multiple ways for me because I could use my iPad with my Mevo Starts and the iPad would be running the um, multicam for uh, Mevo. It's just packaging or is there more stuff in here? I believe that's just packaging. Let's put this on the side, bring this down, move this to the side. Table gets scratched up and dirty so easy. So it looks like they gave a couple other things here. This is showing the case, so it's got uh, some uh, hot shoes and stuff like that. So, it looks like there's a hot shoe mount up here in the top. So, this would go this way. All right, you got some hot shoes here. I guess it doesn't matter which way they slide in, doesn't look like it. I guess technically they would consider this four because you got on each side, but I don't know how, if you can utilize them that way. And these things are supposed to open and close. I guess they're tightened up here. So you can spread this apart. Oh, it's, it's spring-loaded, too. Nice. So I guess that's how they'll fit the iPad. And you got a couple here. And the top should be spring-loaded. Yep. Then you would tighten it up once the iPad's in there. All right, and then on the bottom, you got a is it quarter quarter thread for a tripod and adding things. Got one on that side and one on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my iPad. And loosen these connections here. Now, my iPad I normally have with the uh, keyboard, the magnetic keyboard and all that stuff. So, we'll see. Check the proper orientation. So, I guess there's just a big gap over here and that's where the camera would go. But the fact that this thing's spring-loaded... Okay, hold on. I think I got an idea. If I open it and pull down the screw, it should hold it open. Because so I'm like, how am I going to get the <laughs> iPod, iPad in there? If this thing keeps moving around. Okay. Open this one up quite a bit. Try to tighten the screws down. That way it stays in an open position. I see if I can try to slip the iPad in. Because I, I have one of the 12, the 12 inch one is an iPad Pro. So it's 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 not small. Alright. So starting off a little clunky here. 
I'm going to try to loosen these. It's a little trickier than I thought. I didn't know it was spring loaded. All right. So that at least has the sides. I hope I'm kind of centered. <laughs> That's going to be kind of weird. I don't want this thing to slam on my iPad. <laughs> Even though it did. All right, so maybe read instructions to properly mount <laughs> that thing. All right, so I should have the sides. I think I tightened the sides already. Tighten the top part. So yeah, so there might be a better way of doing that, but there we go. So I mean, it's techni technically locked in place. Got to clean my screen. But then you got the iPad going there. Yeah. And there you go. And then if we wanted to, give me a second. I'm going to turn on NDI. Let's flip, let's flip the camera. Okay. Then let's change the scene. And let me add the iPad. There we go. So now the iPad is on the rig, which is supposed to be like you know you, you could grip it better you could support it which is which i think this is cool and because it's got the uh, quarter gotta remember my microphone it's got the quarter turn and the hot shoes and all that stuff i put this on a tripod which i have right over here i haven't used this guy in a while uh because uh just been using the mevos and stuff now the other thing is and let me come back to the drop down. If I want, I could just use this and turn the NDI part off and stuff. I could just use this with the Mevo Multicam. So if I wanted to control uh, the Mevos, where's my app? Now, the Mevo, I'm actually using one right now, so I'm not going to probably be able to connect to them. Or it might cause a problem. come over here to add I'm gonna add cameras and before I do that let me make sure I know which one the drop down is for I don't add that one so my drop down is the one that ends in uh, FM so we could add this one and we could add this one continue uh, let's go ahead and mute it so now you could see I have the cameras here. So I have this one and this one. And if I want, I think I could even do this here, which is the uh, like wireless webcam. So let me go ahead and turn that on. Multicam. And then if we come back to here, I should be able to change this to the multicam. Here we is. So now I have it set up on the iPad. So it's the two Mevo cameras are on the iPad, so I could see everything on the iPad. And then I could control it. So I'm, I'm switching cameras on the iPad. So I got the iPad here, and I'm actually controlling the multi-cams. So if I set up three cameras, put this on a tripod, 
I could control the audio. I could control the, the cameras, switch between them. Um, Mevo Multicam does have some features where you could put uh, lower thirds. I think there we go. I have to play with it and get more familiar with it. But yeah, so that's the start of it. And uh, I'm going to put it on the tripod, play with it a little bit more. But that's going to be it for this video. And we're going we're gonna to check this out. Got this, 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 this gear thing right here. Um, let me check the box real quick. So, come and drop down. I never practice for these things, just to let you know. So, it's a Multi Pro IO Grapher. And I'm never going to pronounce names properly. So, that's what this is. Um, it's not super cheap. I mean, it's a thick plastic. I don't find it to be very cheap. And it looks like there's another piece here that I think you mount it somehow. And it goes over the camera. That way you could screw in uh, lenses and stuff. So I guess you would just clip it over. And this will provide some threading for you to put in some lenses. But I'm going to play around with it, see how it is. I'm going to use it uh, just with the iPad camera itself. And then I'm going to probably see if I uh, could integrate it with the Mevo cameras. And what's nice is because you got the hot shoes... You get some adapters. Uh, you could put uh, the Mevo camera right on top. Uh, considering that I have two sides here, I could probably put a Mevo camera here. Just saying. Mevo camera here, or one here, one here. One pointed at me, one pointed the other way. Have them pointed to the sides and use the iPad camera. I mean, so many different things we could probably do with this. And I'm just going to have to play with it. Right, that's it for this video.